Well, this is where I've been doing pond improvements for this year. This is the natural uh, full line, I guess you'd say. Uh, when I dug it, I only meant for it to be kind of back there, but it always overflows to here. So I decided to dig it out. I'm gonna go all the way up to the edge if I can. And then uh, I'll uh, break through and let it fill in one of these days. Try to get as much of that removed as I can. If I ran a backhoe, it would be better, but I don't know if I'm going to do that. And I still plan on having this island right here, but I want to dig out a little channel here better to go along the rocks and tie back in over here. You won't be able to see the white line later. PVC, I'm going to debate if I want to remove those or leave them for the frogs and the uh, turtles. I'm definitely going to leave that there. Think about making a hill right there with some of this dirt of hand dig from there and then uh, I'll have rocks continue along this edge right along to about right here somewhere I'm not exactly sure where I'm gonna stop because that that's a gradual entry into the to the pond and it kind of goes deep over there is real shallow it's only like a couple feet deep way along the side over there but here it's like nine feet deep and then five or six in the middle i think five over there and then this is all going to be a couple feet this is three feet deep right here and then i'll dig some more of this out so it stays deep through here and then i'm going to run the fountain over to that side so it'll suck in from over here and spray it over there. Um, I might end up extending the intake with the PVC to come out a little bit. I might just let it suck in right there. I'm not sure yet. Anyway, not a lot of work, but it's fun. I'll uh, keep you updated.